Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to concatenate tuples. Exciting, right? Well, there may be a time when you need to actually combine um, two tuples together, but it's important to remember that you can't actually change uh, a tuple because it's immutable. So um, we can combine them and reassign them to um, create a uh, a new tuple, um, and it would be it could be represented by the, the previous variable. So it's kind of like the same thing, but it's not. Um, but it's important to understand that we can't actually change the tuple where we would create a new tuple. So let's go ahead and create one. I don't know if I said that because I hit the pause button by accident. But anyway, we're going to create a tuple a, and then we're going to do one, two three and four. There we go. We created a tuple. One, two, three, and four. The parentheses indicate a tuple. Um, Alright, so what happens if we want to combine a tuple? Let's create another tuple. Let's do B is uh, assigned to represent another tuple. And we can create a, another tuple like this. Five, six, seven, and eight. Alright, there we go. We got another tuple. We call B now we got five, six, seven, and eight. All right. So you saw there's uh, these two ways to create a tuple, um, but that's not what we're focusing on. Now we want to combine these two um, tuples here to make one big tuple. So I can do a, and concatenation is uh, indicated by the plus symbol and b, and hit return, and now I got a very long um, tuple here. So if I go a up, you see my tuples the same. If I go B, my tuples the same as the previous one. So we didn't actually change anything. We just said, hey, A plus B, give me this um, long tuple here. Now, say we wanted this tuple to be something, wanted to, uh, a variable to represent it, we could do something like C is equal to A plus B, hit return, call C, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all contained in a tuple. All right. So now we have three separate data uh, blocks here. We got A, we got B, and now we got C. All right. Uh, let's see. We could. Uh, oh, I want to show you if we do A plus, let's say, uh, five and six. Now, you saw up here, um, we can create a tuple without the parentheses around it. But if we're concatenating, we have to put the parentheses around it. we got to indicate it's a tuple. There's no shorthand way, or sh shorthand way around it. So we hit return, and we get a traceback arrow that says we can only concatenate a tuple, not an integer. So these are integers right here, 5 and 6. And A is representing a tuple, as right here. All right, so we cannot concatenate them together. Um, we could, what else do I want to show you? Oh, we could do, I'm sorry about that, pause the video, my uh, son came up and yelled. Um, Alright, I'm sure you heard that. Uh, how would we fix this right here? Alright, so we can do A plus, and then the parentheses, 5 and 6, hit return, and now we got um, a tuple returned to us as one, two, three, four, five, and six. But as you can see, I did not change the tuple A. All right. If we want to change the tuple A, we could do A is equal to A plus parentheses five, six, parentheses hit return, and there we go. As you can see right here, A is equal to, so we're reassigning um, what A is now representing, A plus uh, concatenating uh, 5 and 6 on would give us an answer of this. And there you go. Right here is our new tuple. A is now representing an actual tuple. And that is called reassignment. This equal sign is saying reassigning. So we're not actually... A is not actually now pointing to this uh, data here. It's now pointing to this data here. All right. 
So if you have any questions about concatenation in Python, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. And we'll see you in the next one where we repeat tuples. Have a great day.